In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the StatStreaks section of BetLabs. When you open StatStreaks, many of the filters will look similar to the ones you saw in the Stats tutorial. For example, instead of Offensive Points, this time you now see Offensive Points Streak. Let's go ahead and click on this filter, and we'll see the difference. In the Statistics, Offensive Points was just looking at the points per game for the season. With the streak, you can look to see how a team is coming off one game, or multiple games. You have the option of a drop down here to look at the streak. You can look at a one game streak up to a five game streak. For example, if we just wanted to look at the last game they played, and say they had 45 points or more in their last game, then it will display the ATS record for the next game. You can do the same thing for streaks. We go up to a five game streak. Let's say they were on a five game streak of 30 or more points. It's only happened seven times, and they were two and five against the spread in that sixth game. You can do the same for defensive points and also for yards. Works the same way, passing yards. See, we're coming off one game where you had 400 or more. Then it will automatically populate the record. You can do the same for a three game. Let's say you did three games of 300 yards or more. And there you go, the record will populate. You can combine these stats and stat streaks along with some of the team information and line information to really build some complex systems. You can even look at turnover streak, which is definitely a popular one for our current members. So if they're looking at four games of at least three turnovers, or four games in a row with one turnover, you can go through all the possibilities there. Again, most of these filters work the same way, regardless of what the actual statistic is. In Sacks Allowed Streak, you'll have a drop-down menu, and then your range at the top. We also always try to give an example on the Stat Streak filters, because we know these can be a little bit confusing. You can also use the streaks, not just to do mins and max, but look at a specific range. For example, let's go back to Offensive Points Streak and say they had between 20 and 30 points in the last three games. You don't necessarily have to use the endpoints of the range. You can select your own specific range. You can even play with these and see the numbers change at the top dynamically. That concludes this tutorial of stat streaks. In the next tutorial, we'll go over player and coach info as well as weather.